The footage which you are about to see is an account of the tragedy which befell a quasi-mentally deficient YouTuber one fateful day. He could not have expected, nor would he have wished, to see as much of the maddening macabre sights that would soon transpire before his asymmetrical, twitchy, shifty eyes. For him, an idyllic summer afternoon drive became a nightmare. Brace yourself, for now unfolds the tale of the discovery of one of Japan's most bizarre and shocking locales. Rabbit. Island. You can do further adventures in Japan. Hello, all you wonderful people. I'm literally talking to you from the middle of nowhere. Today was an amazing day of first for me. I got to go up a mountain and watch the sunrise from an awesome awesome a shrine that was on the top of this mountain i got to stay in a japanese hotel in a national park on top of this mountain and i got to sleep in a traditional japanese room which i completely destroyed now i was a little afraid of this hotel because they did have a painting of dolls and it looked like it was going to kill me <laughs> Then right next to the hotel, there is a paintbrush museum that I thought was completely abandoned on first entry, but I noticed they had like the largest uh, paintbrush possibly in Japan and how they made them, and also a very, very creepy dummy. But now I gotta jump on this train and head on a ferry to go to Rabbit Island, which has a ton of rabbits living on this island. I'm so excited. Pretty excited to see all these rabbits living on this island. Hope the place lives up to its name. One bus to get on here and a ton of people trying to get on this, this bus. So we're jumping on, kids. On the bus. Let's drop you off right in front of this hotel. I had no idea that rabbits necessitated a hotel here. In and we found our first rabbits. Okay. Oh. Little baby there. A little baby rabbit. <laughs> there are things in life that you can do, and there are things in life that you can't do. And one thing you can't do is cuddle with the rabbits, okay? A vast intellect. I picked one of the hottest days to come. It's like 100 degrees out here, and I think all the rabbits are down there. Rabbit holes! Rabbit Island may have a lot of cute things. They also have a lot of scary things on here. Right behind me is the remains of where they used to manufacture poison for the war, so they kill people. That's insane. Though the poison is definitely gone and no one's producing anything like that anymore here, the memory still stands. It's definitely a remembrance of darker times. Hey, buddy. How's it going? You eating a carrot? Someone give you a carrot? How's it going? You don't want my food, right? If I gave you this, you don't even care. Definitely see why they use this island for a poison gas making place. You wouldn't know this island from any other island. And you probably wouldn't go on and say, Hey, you guys, you guys got some WMDs here? You got some weapons of mass destruction? Uh, this is the UN here. We're just coming for your WMDs. This guy's looking like he's hungry. They want a little food. Let's see if I can feed him. What's food? What's food? Hey. How's it going? Hey! Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah! Want some? You want some, buddy? You want some? Oh, see you later. Uh, you prefer that carrot? You can go for that carrot. Carrot's better than the food. Was well, this food not good for you? This food not good enough for you, rabbit? It's okay, you don't want my food. It's okay. It's okay. You're pretty adorable, anyway. Oh, check it out. 
Abandoned military base. Just right off the trail. Whoa. Rabbits literally come out of the woodwork. Well, he really wants he really wants some food. Okay, 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 got I got some food. Hey. Oh, look, there's another abandoned base there. Apparently, abandoned military bases are hot spots for rabbits out here. Go ahead, have them. Have them. You can have them. You can have all of them. Why are there so many rabbits dotting the landscape? A lot of people have questioned that about this island. Some people say, well, you know, maybe they swam across the sea. Others say that a school child brought a rabbit over and forgot it. Thus creating Rabbit Island! Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going? Or it could have been that they were out here being used to test the poison that they were making out here. But I really like multiple choice, choose your own origin story of the rabbits because the one about the kid is just, just more nice, I guess. I think in comparison, my bag of assorted treats does not equal celery and carrots. Someone's showing me up. Wow. It's crazy. Used to be a House of Death. How it only houses cute bunny rabbits. Oh, that's called the future, kids. Okay. Sold me for one dollar. I'll see. I'll see your museum. Wow, they even had to protect the horses from the poison. That's crazy. This place is a lot like a nightmare museum. It's got some really graphic pictures of people that are affected by poison. And I don't want to show that to you guys. It's disgusting. It's just strange duality of like coming to this island to feed rabbits and have a good time. And then there's all these like horrible war reminders here. It's strange. Hey. Oh, you're you're a curious one, huh? Look at all the origami cranes for peace. Check it out, you can look like a rabbit and hear what they hear. Hippity hop! Here we go! As first act as rabbit person, I want carrots. That's that's all I all I can think of right now. Now as a rabbit person, I finally hear the truth. I know who framed Roger Rabbit! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, that joke's like 30 years old. What am, what am I doing? I don't even know if that's funny. This used to be an air raid shelter for military chiefs. Now there's only bunnies down there. Oh, how you doing guys? Truly these rabbits are very smart because they're staying in the air shelter where it's safe. This is one of the only Shinto shrines you'll see in Japan that doesn't allow people. Only rabbits. Yes, your rabbit overlords. Pray to them. Hey, buddy. Man, you saw me and he came running, huh? I think at one point in time you could go into this lighthouse, but they've made it like a booby trap of, of wires and mesh to make sure you don't go through there now. You guys are pretty cute, you know that? Hey, oh, oh. Now, if Rabbit Island had a list of top 10 things you have to do to see rabbits, if it's hot, look for the shade, because that's where they like to hang out. Isn't that right, buddy? You like to hang in the shade, it's hot. Enjoy the food. Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> I am Lord of the Rabbits. I've, I've ordained the leopards. <laughs> Eat Usagi. <laughs> wow, this place is creepy. Woo, it's overgrown with, with vines, and it just looks like it's it's it looks like it's haunted.
would say that time has not fared this building very well. And that was Robert Island. That was a pretty cool place in the middle of Hiroshima Sea. And it's kind of scary too. It really was the horrors of Rabbit Island because of all the history here. But it's so cute now. There's all these rabbits. It's a really weird duality. You know, if you find yourself out here, you can see some of these cute animals as well and just enjoy them frolicking all around you. I highly recommend a trip out here. It is fun. Now, as I always say, you can do it. I can do it. We can all do it. Stay groovy. Have a wonderful day. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, share it with your friends, tell you how much you like it, and uh, leave a comment down below where you want me to see me go in Japan. I learned things from you guys, so tell me where you want to see me go. All right. Have a wonderful day. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye. Oh, oh, sorry for scaring you guys there, but just to let you know, Robert Island isn't that scary, but the history of the island is. And it's that history that we must remember and try not to go down the same lines. We live in a very, very scary world. Take it from me, I'm a giant scary rabbit. So you guys all have a good day. Remember, be nice to one another. Because if you're not, you know, I'll, I'll come see you. Happy Easter, you jerks!